All right, guys, so um, before uh, you saw the uh, robotic hand, it's right over there. Um, there's that thing, and there is the, uh, the glove controlling it. And you noticed that there are only two flex sensors, and I finally found the time to put another one on there. Um, I'll probably just do one right now, because um, I don't have too much time. I want to get to other things as well. But yeah, so I'm using um, a, I think this is 4.5 inches uh, flex sensor. There's the company, if you guys want them. They're pretty good. I like the quality. Um, this one is a lot better than this one, which I got in the kit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna solder them. Basically, they're, they're not too difficult to put together. You basically want to put, um, I'll just go through it for any of you techies out there who are interested. Um, you put a uh, negative, or uh, the wire for negative on one side. Um, from what I tested, um, they were really specific with the kit ones, like which side to put it on. With these, I tested and it works with either way. Um, if you put it, you just have to have the right wiring, but if you can use it off either end because as you can see, there are right here, ah, where's the thing? There are two um, leads here. Um, so you need to solder the correct like combination of wires and stuff. But from what I experienced, I, I put it in a breadboard and then it seems to work with uh, either one. So anyway, so negative black wire goes to one of them. Um, red would be uh, for positive goes to the other one um, actually I've seen it both ways like where you refer to negative anyway this would be the ground and this is like negative I guess you could call it as an electrons flowing into it um, white which is the signal also goes into the same one that the red one goes into and you connect the red one um, you connect uh, this the side that you're connecting the red and the white one to a 10k resistor and you connect that to the red wire. So I'm going to get soldering on that and I'll give you guys an update. There's my uh, soldering iron, it's just, I just flipped it on, it's heating up. Um, I'm gonna use a uh, third arm here, this is what these are called. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna take you through soldering it. I can't actually record like while I'm doing it, but I'll show you the aftermath after like each point in the process, I guess. All right, stay tuned. Okay, so the first part of this is you want to always tin your wires, at least, um, I'm gonna be going through it, by the way, how I learned to do it. If I'm doing something wrong, um, please let me know, because uh, this is just the way I taught myself and the way I learned how to do it in engineering class. So if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know, guys. But the way I do it is always tin the tip of the wire first, uh, get it coated with uh, solder. I'm just using some here. Um, and I probably shouldn't have unrolled it this much, but, you know, oh well. Um, yeah. So then this is going to go on those. Okay, so, um, the first wire is now soldered on. Not the prettiest thing ever. Um, had a little trouble with this one, but it's on there and it's on there pretty good. So, uh, now I'm going to solder the resistor onto this other one. And stay tuned. Bye. Okay, so the, uh... Resistor is on there um, So those are the two um, This one kind of with the black wire came out a little sloppy um, The resistors one is a little bit better not the best a little heavy-handed with the solder, but oh well It's on there, and that's fine. So now I'm going to get the uh, white uh, wire on there stay tuned All right, so the uh, Resistor and the white wire are on there. Um, I had to kind of re-solder some stuff. And actually, what I did was um, it wasn't sticking where um, something the, the resistor kept falling off when I tried uh, soldering the wire directly on there. Um, so what I did was I twisted the end of the resistor and the end of the wire together, and then soldered that together, and then soldered that end directly onto the uh, thing and that worked a lot better. So kind of sloppy looking but it works and it is pretty sturdy on there. So now onto the red wire. Okay so uh, just a quick thing I haven't soldered it yet but that's what I meant when I say twisting the tips together. Um, with the white wire in the resistor it was just in the same direction and with this it's uh, in the opposite direction and then when I solder all this together I'm going to wrap, give it a wrap of uh, electrical tape on there uh, one on there and one on there so they don't um, end up short-circuiting or anything um, Just kind of like I have right there Okay, so it is wrapped now 
Um, and I'm going to wrap it all now, or it's soldered rather, and now I'm going to wrap it all in a bit of electrical tape, and then I'm going to call it a day. Okay, so that is the full thing done. So now what I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to record this part because it's kind of mundane, but basically I um, cut down these, uh, the red and the black wire a little bit, and um, what I'm going to do is when I put it on the finger there, I might make a video about that, I don't know. Um, but when I put it on the finger there, I'm going to solder those onto the kind of central line because um, all of the red ones or all the red wires from each of the um, flag sensors go onto uh, soldered together and onto this one line which goes into the uh, five volts of the Arduino board and um, likewise with the black ones they all go into one line that goes into ground um, and um, yeah so I'm going to do that. With the white one, I'm going to keep it pretty much the same length. I might try, uh, trim it a little bit. And that goes into, um, right there, the analog um, outputs, right there. Um, or inputs, rather, I should say. Uh, the analog inputs, um, which then go into the board um, digitally, or in an analog way. Send out of there, uh, which sends it to the radio and into the arm. So that is the uh, soldering of one of these flex sensors, and uh, yeah, so stay tuned for more. If you guys like these kinds of engineering videos, let me know, and I would be happy to make more of them when I have time. See ya!